Welcome back to Detroit. It's Friday, day three of KubeCon. We've had an action-packed week here. I'm Jason Benedicic, and today we're gonna to talk about my top three takeaways from KubeCon. In at number one, it's gotta be the audience. This is not the audience I expected. I have heard for many years, developers, developers, developers. Developers, 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 yes! you know, that the entire ecosystem was around developers. But the people I've met, the conversations I've had, the ancillary events, the parties we've been to, I've been meeting a lot of people that I, you would expect to see at a traditional tech conference rather than the cloud native one, right? So I'm, I'm having conversations with infrastructure admins, cloud operations people, cloud admins, cloud architects, um, Kubernetes architects now, platform engineering, um, some DevOps people. It's it's a, it's a big shift and it's not what I expected. I believe, and you know, I'd like to hear your thoughts, so maybe put some comments down below. Um, I believe that what happened is, is that this ecosystem was started by developers and they were the ones championing it, saying, we need this, I need this platform, I need these tools to be able to do my job better. And they nurtured that and they, they got that started, that incubation period that was there. But now as the project matures, as things grow up, we're seeing that this is being handed over. It's being handed over to your operations, your IT, traditional roles and responsibilities to take this forward. And developers are moving on to the next big thing for them. You know, that might be WebAssembly or, you know, maybe functions or other things. But, but we'll talk about that another time. So that's, I think that's what we've seen from the audience here this week. That's a big takeaway for me. We've, we've definitely got that adoption and we've reached a tipping point. We're definitely seeing a lot more. That leads me into number two enterprise grade features a lot of the conversations we've had the keynote updates on projects the updates from the special interest groups and the deep dives what we've seen have been the introduction of enterprise grade features for things that we expect so security um, more more security scanning more vulnerability recognition container scanning how we deal with cves um, general security best practices for how we run and maintain our operations, multi-factor authentication, role-based access control. There's been a lot of talk of security. We've seen a lot of uh, changes in the data protection space as well. So on Monday, we spoke about this in the deep dive. There was the introduction of change block tracking, the introduction of snapshot replication, and other features that, you know, if, if you come and look at what we've had for the last couple of decades in, in, in virtualization, we've, we've had change block tracking, we've got replication, we've got snapshotting, vMotion, storage vMotion, HADR, right? All of these things are starting to make their way into this platform. And then finally, we're seeing a lot more talk of scale. How do we operationalize at scale? How do we, you know, do cost optimization at scale? How do we security at scale? All of those sorts of things. So we're really seeing the enterprise grade feature influence come into the projects and taking a bit more of a center stage. And finally, in at number three, well, we kind of heard a bit of a cry for help from the community. Um, the main stage on day one, the discussion was around the number of contributors and maintainers of the project um, compared to the millions of users and the shockingly billions in revenue um, that the project generates. We're talking about thousands of maintainers and contributors, not, not hundreds of thousands. These are you know, individual people working in day jobs, um, a, a lot of big name companies um, volunteering. They, they, they do this for the, for the good of the community, for the good of the project. And while their companies are you know, helping and there's, there's been a lot more commitment from the big names to provide additional resources, to allow more time for open source contribution, the fact is we need more contributors, we need more maintainers, we need more um, internship programs and, and, and other, other initiatives that are gonna help us bring more people to this project um, because it's unsustainable at the current scale um, for sure. So that was a really big thing. I, I don't know what the answer to that solution is. I think this has been a common theme through open source's history of 
how, how do you continue to maintain, especially with such widespread adoption? And I, I, I can't think of many projects that have the adoption of Kubernetes and, and the surrounding projects within that ecosystem. So it's going to be an interesting thing to see how this evolves over the next few five to 10 years, probably, um, to see you know, how, how do we help with getting you know, full scale contribution and to be fair, recognition. That's a really important piece. So thanks for listening. It's been great here in Detroit. I'll see you again soon.